Okay, this video will cover lesson 3 of dynamics and um, <coughs> um, the, the video itself, the series itself will comprise of these things so the first one is to um, recap on last week amplitude decay if you remember I, will, I want to um, do, talk about something a little bit and then we go to tutorial 2 to actually um, strengthen what we have learned earlier um, to to articulate between formulas and initial conditions so you can actually sink into your your blood itself <coughs> and then um, for number three itself is a new topic it's a free vibration with viscous friction uh, with a damper so if you were to go and take a look with a picture it's something like that um, however um, if you were to scroll back we actually then go through all this maybe in the future but let's just let it there first so in the, in the future, if they didn't go through the school, do a video on that. Uh, and then um, we will derive general equation. It's a, similarly, is a differential equation. So we have to solve in terms of second order differential equation. And it's, it's a similar thing as um, what we have done last time. So the two lessons. And then we do a tutorial three question to familiarize with um, how to use this formula that we have to drive over here. And then to apply it to this, this question. So without further ado, let's start. And nonetheless, uh, I think I'll just cover this in this video. I'll just cover these two. Okay. Hopefully, I can cover these two within a time limit. And um, yeah. So last week I was talking about the the graph itself, right? If you remember, uh, give me a minute. We were talking about the column friction, and we were talking about the damping decay, right? Why why is it two cycles? Okay, the, then, and I, I actually, you know, um, ask you whether, um, yeah, you get what I mean. So therefore, um, that's a clear view from the note itself. I just realized, um, actually, this, this is this whole amplitude is x, okay, x one, the position x one, if you remember, okay, um, maybe I just let show you, the position x one is over here, so from from here, this is this is position zero. Okay, x one is actually here, and then zero x not is here, and then x two is here. So therefore, x one position is just this position, and um, and then uh, when when we derive our our decay, okay, our our first equation, first set, we actually um. <coughs> Uh, decay in until here. Okay, there's a little portion over here. So this portion will take on another um uh equation. I mean the same equation, just that it's it's divided by two. I would say so x one itself is divided by two between this equation and this equation. So therefore, if you were to take this equation to minus away um the second equation, okay um. If you to remember, right, there is two equations, x1 minus fk and, you know, x1 minus 3fk. Um, then you can, <coughs> you can actually clearly see that there is a difference between them. So this is a decay in this direction, in the, in the bottom line, and there is another decay in the, in, in terms of the, in terms of the upper, above, that means y exists above zero is this you know the this shaded part yeah so that's why we times we multiply by two so this is why we have a you know that thing so this explains um my 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 query on that so without further ado let's start for tutorial question one <coughs> 